Crying emojis in the chat, pimps. Crying emojis in the chat. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Duty, back again with another video. And breaking news, folks. Apparently, the Snort Ford is under attack. That's right. Our boy, Phil, is being attacked by the detractors. And they're using the ultimate weapon, which is... No, not Argentinian memberships, but chargebacks. That's right. Chargebacks are back on the menu, folks. And it looks like our boy, Phil got smashed overnight with about $200 in chargebacks. Now, uh, I can't give out too much information, but I was informed that this is just the beginning of the chargeback saga, and uh, I think Phil knows it. So last night, uh, during the night stream of Elden Ring, our boy Phil uh, came out and informed the Dents that the chargeback act attack is happening and of course the elden ring stream in support was slow so phil had to use a secret weapon uh to beg so let's see what phil had to say on the daily rap by the way this daily rap is about nine minutes your boy duty cut out all the other crap and is mainly going to focus on the charge back act act story arc for our boy phil i'm telling you guys this year season 16 has just been fire and our boy phil is just getting attacked from all directions so let's get into it folks um so by the way that stream did pretty good too we had good engagement good support everything was good uh but unfortunately as that stream is going down and just imagine this you're at the hardest part of elden ring right you're really at the, the healing tree is grueling everything can kill you in one to two hits right i get a series of giant chargebacks while this is going down over 200 dollars, and i'm like it sucks because what it was there was an anonymous tipper a couple weeks ago who came into my streams randomly for a couple of streams and just started dropping really generous tips. And I was like, wow, that is so nice of them to do that. You know, it was great support. And, you know, I remember hitting multiple tips goals that week as a result of those anonymous tips. And now this person just decided, oh, I'll just charge them all back to Phil now because he's, he's shit, you know, a real human piece of Phil, the scumbag. Um, and you might say, well, what can you do? Not much. You know, all I can do is try to fight it and say, well, you know, here's when the tips came in. Here's the evidence I shouted them out. But nine times out of 10, unless there's, outright proof of some kind of a transaction where oh look there was a sale that took place you know it's very hard to win though sometimes i win sometimes i lose it takes by the way it takes a while to get through them it's not like oh i could dispute it and get it resolved in a day no it takes like months seriously it could take upwards of one to two months to get some of these resolved um so this sucks really bad because it's a lot of money to be gone out of my account out of nowhere um and you know there's nothing i can do about it right it's just it that's just the thing about being a streamer is that you know you, know, you rely on you know, crowd support, crowdfunding to make a living. Uh, ad revenue don't doesn't do it. And when you get an asshole like this who just literally commits fraud uh, for hundreds of dollars, there's not much recourse I have. I just got to kind of deal with it. So what I'll say is this. If you're currently liking all of my content, if you like the Fallout 4 run I'm doing now, if you like the end game here of the return to Elden Ring, if maybe you're liking another Crab's Treasure, which I'm starting and doing more of tomorrow, we'll talk about that. Maybe you like the fact that I returned to Street Fighter 6. Or maybe you're digging uh, the React stuff that I'm doing over my React channels. Whatever it may be. The next couple of days, I really need to be good streaming days, meaning they can't be slow. If they're not slow, I'm okay. But if I end up with a couple slow streaming days now, I'm going to be in trouble. So, please, if you can, support the streams um, in the next couple of days. That would greatly help. And, of course, if you're someone who only watches on demand, uh, you can always leave a super thanks on a video that's eligible, a member, or you can leave a tip. There's actually a tips link in every single video that I upload to my channel, so you can just send a tip that way. That would really help out, you know. And don't worry about, oh, no, I can't really help Phil with a couple hundred dollars. It's not like that, you know. Hey, maybe you've been watching the stuff and you just can't make a stream or whatever, but any support is greatly appreciated right now to help negate this ridiculous nonsense that just happened. Uh, thank you in advance to anyone who even thinks about helping out right now. I appreciate it. Okay. Wow, wow. It's it's amazing how his his tune always changes. Whatever happened to whatever happened to oh, uh chargebacks, it doesn't matter because I win them all anyway. Didn't Phil proclaim that several times when there were several chargeback arcs where people would go in either with stolen credit cards or just tip and get annoyed with Phil and do chargebacks and Phil told the trolls and the detractors, it doesn't matter because I win them all anyway. It's funny how the tune changes. Uh, it's very similar to the, the Argentinian memberships where uh, he claimed he found a, uh, a way to stop the Argentinian memberships and they don't impact him at all to well yeah they 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 do impact him <laughs> i love how he changes his tune he thinks no one has any common sense where they can't go and research shit to try to you know make a make a a a an intelligent 
uh, suggestion or comment or, 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 you know, reaction to what Phil has to say. It, it just goes to show how deep the pygnosis is, so much so that Phil's under the pygnosis, where he think his cult leadership style is so strong that he can convince anyone uh, about anything. And that's what happens when you live in a bubble. Uh, Phil grew up as the only child. His mother and father probably, you know, told him that he was wonderful. Uh, his mother probably told him he was handsome. All of these lies to kind of build up his ego. And uh, he's a, a stunted man. He was stunted from, 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 from childhood. And a lot of that is on him, but it also sadly falls on his parents uh, for not actually demonstrating what the real world looks like and actually giving Phil um, real uh, feedback. <laughs> not that you're handsome, that y you're, you're not handsome. That, that probably would help Phil out a lot more than lying to him and try to build up his ego. But anyway, that's right, folks. The chargebacks are back. It looks like from what Phil is saying, uh, the chargebacks, uh, he received $200 worth in chargebacks from an anonymous donor that happened throughout the course of the week. And uh, like I said, I really can't get too much into it, but uh, I was fed some information. I'm not sure if it's true or not. It's just a source that provides me some information that apparently it's a lot more than $200. And uh, our boy Phil may be having to deal with PayPal and the chargeback saga for quite some time now. But again, Phil, just like you said, that is the fault. That is the drawback of being, um, being a content creator who depends on crowdfunding. If you were to divest, if you were to diversify your income, which is something that me, other detractors have said for years, you probably won't have this issue, Phil. For example, if you wouldn't beg so much for tips and would focus more on the super chats and would actually give people rewards for super chats and build the super chats up, yes, YouTube gets a 30% cut, but there's like a 99% uh, probability that you'll get that money. YouTube doesn't, doesn't do chargebacks unless it's like a stolen credit card and the banks get involved. Uh, typically, YouTube will not pay that back and you'll get that income. You're sort of, it, it's kind of like the mob. You're paying uh, the mob uh, a 10 or 20% cut. And in YouTube's, you know, in YouTube's uh, piece, it's 30%. You're paying the YouTube mafia 30% for protection. That's what you're doing. But you're so fucking greedy that there is no way that you would agree to give anyone, anyone getting a cut. I mean, remember when he used to be with Machinima and various partners, how he used to bitch about the percentage that they would take for doing nothing. Phil says that about YouTube right now. Phil says YouTube does nothing, but they still get a 30% of all my income. That That's greedy. No, Phil, you have to remember that they're paying millions and millions of dollars to support the YouTube servers, uh, promote YouTube, market employees that they have to pay for all this. That takes money, Phil, and your 30% cut that they take from you streaming, that's actually pretty cheap, especially being that Twitch takes 50%. So you sitting here bitching about 30% is fucking ridiculous. Now again, you know, you either pay the mafia a cut for protection or you deal with the hooligans. And that's what's happening here, folks. Phil is dealing with the hooligans with the payback, uh, with the PayPal chargebacks. Since you put such an emphasis on tips because you need them, you need that money to pull them hogans, this is what happens to you. I read a statistic that for PayPal, when chargebacks occur, 61% of the chargebacks that are done by people are usually refunded to the to the to the buyer. 61% of chargebacks. Now, if you listen to Phil, you would think all the chargebacks, uh, he wins all the chargebacks, which is a fucking lie. It's just him coping. Um, but it, it's funny how his tune changes when he needs money. Now, if we look at the work week and we look at the total tips for the work week and the support for the work week, it's been fucking slow for Phil. Phil's had three pretty slow fucking days. Let's not let's not let's not mention about Sunday's React Day, where he made fucking fourteen dollars and what fifty or sixty on the night stream. Yeah, yeah, uh, and being that he recently went on a fucking spending splurge on WW Champions, which we still don't have that figure, but we, we expect it's anywhere between fourteen and $1,600 that he spent on WW Champions. He's theming now. He's theming for those tips, and these 200-plus chargebacks are killing him. 
because what YouTube does is they place that money on hold uh, whenever there's a chargeback. So Phil can't tap that money. It's sitting in a it's sitting on a hole somewhere that he can't touch, right? And knowing Phil, he probably takes money out every single fucking day. So he probably has a negative balance in there, and that's why he's stressed the fuck out. Because any tips that come in the next few days until he hits that two hundred dollar mark, he ain't getting shit. No money is hitting his pocket for WWE champions, and that's why he's stressed the fuck out. But again, this comes this all comes because Phil's failure to fucking plan his life out. If he were to diversify his income, he would be okay. These chargebacks wouldn't hurt him. If he had a part-time job supplementing his income, he would be okay. He would be able to handle these chargebacks. If he would cut back his fucking gambling addiction spending, I'm not even saying eliminate it because I, I don't think Phil can eliminate it. Uh, if he cut it back by like say 30%, he would be okay. He would be able to pay his bills and have a little extra money to fucking save. But would Phil do that? Nope. Never. 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 And then when shit like this happens to him, he, f he panics, he freaks out. And look at that face. Look at that. Look at that face. The face of fucking sheer, sheer dread there. Thinking, oh my god. I'm not going to have any money for my day off. I'm not going to be able to uh, get my fat wife DoorDash. And she's going to be hungry and upset. And what am I going to do? What am I going to do, folks? <sighs> All this shit befalls you, Phil, because, of course, you fail to fucking plan anything in your life. And what's the adage, folks? For those that fail to plan, uh, plan to fail. That's right. That's Phil's model, folks. Plan, uh, fail to plan is planning to fail. He should put that shit on his tombstone, along with... Uh, Hulk Hogan's big team. Anyway, that's it, folks. He goes on another beg here. Uh, it's pretty fucking pathetic. Uh, uh, the chargeback saga will probably keep going on. From what I heard, uh, it's... Uh, I, I can't get into much, but... Uh, yes, it is some illegal activities, and there's no way Phil's gonna actually win these chargebacks, and they're gonna get refunded to whoever, whoever made the payment. Uh, so Phil's shit out of luck. And uh, from what I'm hearing, again, folks, this is just someone reaching out to me and giving me some information. From what I'm hearing, uh, there's more coming. So uh, move over, Argentinian detractors. Now we have the chargeback detractors. Anyway, by the way, folks, season 16 is just fucking chef's kiss, folks. It's been fired. The writers have just been on point. I mean, this is just, this is just epic. Whoever's writing season 16 should get a fucking raise. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.